Hey everyone, it's Dee here and today we are going to be trying out and swatching the Jeffree Star Family Collection. I recently got it. Um, I bought this all with my own money because, you know. So I bought all of these with my own money from Beautylish. Um, shipping, it took about a day. Um, I bought it the day before and it came the next day. I don't know how that's possible but it was amazing. As, as you can see, I live in Canada. So... Thank you, you like thank you, Beautylish. You're the best. So I have the whole entire collection here. So I have the liquid lipsticks, the two velour lip scrub, and of course the skin prop. So the Jeffree Star Family Collection is a collaboration with his boyfriend Nate. And as you can see here. This is the packaging and this is the picture they took and it's like one of the oldest pictures that they have and of course they have Jeffree's signature and Ethan's signature and then the dogs. Cute little tiny paw prints there and of course as you can see here this is all of the liquid lipsticks, the velour liquid lipsticks that they have. Um, it's completely new, it's different from all of their collection. Um, you have Nathan here and then this is Wifey which is Jeffree's color and then these are the colors of their dogs so they have baby daddy this is delicious they have diamond and then diva and these two are actually inspired by the first colors that Jeffree put and this is sort of the dogs colors except for I think was it delicious or baby daddy who had like a color change after and I, the packaging is super cute also comparing the packaging from the other velour liquid lipsticks the color of the pink here is a little bit more lighter it's a bit more muted it's more of like a pastel -y pink just so it differentiates it from the regular collection or any other collection that Jeffree Star has and with the velour lip scrubs here, I got both, which is Beach Popsicle and Pancakes. And of course, the packaging is also different. It is more of that lighter pink package, different than the regular velour lip scrubs. And then of course, the Skin Frost, the highlighter. It also has that lighter pink packaging. So it goes with the collection and this one is more of a lavender, frosty lavender color which a little bit of like a silvery pink shift and this one's called Nefri which is their name smashed together. First off, I got the two lip scrubs from the family collection. One is in pancakes and syrup and the other one is in the peach popsicle so i've already been using the pancakes and syrup for a while now and it's really nice it's really good it smells really lovely and you can eat it too so it's safe so i'm gonna just try it here it smells and tastes like pancakes which is really nice and then this one is the peach popsicle, so I'm just gonna. So that one smells really good. It smells like peaches, so it reminds me of like an ice cream truck or an ice cream store, which is really good. So it's my first time trying the velour lip scrubs from Jeffree Star, and I feel like it's really good. And for such a big bottle, and paying only 12 US dollars and something so it's a little bit more expensive I would say like around $15 Canadian and I got mine from Beautylish so next I'm gonna just get into this lip stuff here so first off I'm just gonna start with baby daddy here so I've had experiences with the velour liquid lipsticks already and for sure you have to give these a good shake before you start applying them onto your lips and that's baby daddy I really love this color 
because it's like a um, sort of a brownie, deep sort of nude, but it's not too pale for my skin. But of course, I would wear this as like an ombre sort of effect. And what I love with Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick is that it's very comfortable on the lips. It's very light. It's not that heavy. Next, I'm going to go into Delicious here and swatch that for you guys. So with Delicious, I feel like it's more of a brownie purple. It has a hint of coolness to it, which I really like. It has like that gray cool undertone that sort of chocolatey brown but not really like a warm chocolate but more of like a cool chocolate so now i'm just gonna go with diamond here so that's diamond which is a really nice sort of periwinkle lavendery blue super pretty um i'm not sure if i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this Kind of edgy it's kind of pastel -y, and it's like my first time to have like a pastel color like this but um with diamond i think i might use it more as an eyeliner because all of the jeffree star velour liquid lipsticks are all eye safe next i'm just gonna go with diva so diva is this really bright neon pink it's like kind of like a Barbie pink but not really Barbie it's like super bright it's like Barbie but a little bit more extra which is really nice it'd be really nice to fun and play with this especially in like spring summer or whenever you feel like it obviously next I'm just gonna go in with wifey here and this one is Jeffrey's color so this is like a really nice rich red I feel like it's perfect for the holidays and as he said it was like more like in between like a unicorn blood and the other red that he was talking about and it was really nice this is really nice um I feel like I get a lot of wear out of this and I'm not much of like a red wear type of person but I'm super excited to wear this it's really nice and comfortable on the lips as well and last but certainly not the least I'm gonna go in with the color Nathan so Nathan is that really nice peachy nude I don't usually wear this type of color but it feels and it looks really good on my skin tone yeah it's like a peachy nude it's so different from any color from Jeffree's collection so I'm really happy that he added a peachy sort of nude for me to try next we're just gonna go and try the skin frost here this is in the shade Nefri which is Jeffree's and Nathan's name smushed together like a celebrity name and this one is a little bit more on the lavender pinky side of the spectrum I'm just gonna swatch that and I'm gonna be using the Royal Langnickel Highlight and Glow brush and I really love these colors they're more on the cooler toned highlighting one and I've been you I've used this once already and I feel like it's way more pigmented than the crystal ball one I think yeah it's much more pigmented than the crystal ball one in their summer collection and this one's really nice a little more softer I don't have to really dig into it to make it show up onto my skin and I think I'm in love with this highlighter already and you know me, I like to blind with my highlight. I like to have a really good highlight. Look how gorgeous that is. So as you can see, both finger and brush swatches worked really nicely. It's a completely different formula for the summer collection, which is nice.
So that is everything for this collection. Overall thoughts. Um, I love the velour liquid lipsticks already i've had uh, i have a couple of them um and this is a really nice way to sort of venture into more of it for me um the colors i love all of them um there are some that i might not wear that often like this one which is diamond because pastel colors are very hard for me to wear um Let's just say my skin color is like NW25 in MAC, um, I'm Punjab in NARS, I'm 3W Tawny in the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So if we go too light, sometimes it makes me look too sick. Um, this Nathan color, the Peachy Nude, which it's really nice, it actually works with my skin tone, the first Peachy Nude, because sometimes I look really funny with Peachy Nudes. But with Diamond, I think I can get the use out of this as a liner, which is super pretty. And they're all eye safe, by the way, to all of you guys who don't know about it. Um, I already love Wifey, and I think I'll be wearing Delicious a lot. That's like the color that speaks to me. It's like a purpley brown, um, and it's like a neutral, which I love, especially for the fall time. The Skin Frost in Nefri, I'll be wearing this a lot. I love colors that are lavendery. I love colors that are sort of like this in the highlight. I can also use this in the eye. And as you can see, look how blinding that is. I really love this one. I prefer this over the Crystal Ball one from the Summer Collection because the formula is a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. And while that one was nice, I like the color, that formula, I really have to really scrape to get some like highlighting and any sort of effect from it. And this is actually my first time trying out the Velour Lip Scrubs and to be honest, I love it already. I feel like just getting more of it, they smell good, they're good for your lips. Um, I usually scrub my lips every day anyways because after I wake up I feel like my lips are crusty and everything so this is really nice it's really nice and convenient it's mess free because you can just lick it off or you can always just wipe it with a tissue so that's everything for today um, I give this collection two thumbs up already I love it except there's some colors that I won't wear but the formula is still good Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. I would truly, really appreciate it. Um, all my social media links will be down below, of course, as usual. And yeah, please like as well and tell all your friends if you want. Thank you. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.